Hello and welcome to the first episode of what I'm going to be calling the Indie Game Showcase, where I do a short let's play of a game that I want to show off. And first up, it is Tower Climb by DavioWare. If you're a longtime subscriber, you know that I have done a let's play of Tower Climb before. I loved it then, but back then it was an alpha. Now it is in paid beta, and it is much, much better. All right, so here we go, starting a new game. So as you can probably guess from the title, the game takes place in a tower, and the goal is to climb. Uh, each set of levels is procedurally generated, so it's always going to be something new and different. And there's uh, an interesting inventory management system. As you can see in the lower right-hand corner, you have three, no, four slots. Each one corresponds to either a type of potion or an item. I picked up a box fairly early on, so that's what's there. But you also start out with uh, the purple potions are jump potions, the orange explode, and the green potion is a teleport potion. In order to get more items, you can find them lying around the tower, or you can go to an item shop right here, which is the witch. Unfortunately, I don't have any golden berries, so I'm not going to be able to buy anything now, but there's actually a cluster of three right here that I think I can grab. There we go. All right. So I'm going to be very careful here. I'll move this here. That should let me get that. There we go. Ooh, almost fell too far there. All right, so I'm gonna go back here and buy some items. So you can buy the various potions here. The uh, fourth potion is a revival potion. You can only carry one of those, but it will give you an extra life. All right, I think I'm gonna get a couple jump potions and an explosive potion. And I'm going to continue my way up the tower. All right, double jump up here. And I'm at the top. I don't see the uh, exit door, but I'm sure it's over here. All right. So the first three floors, I believe, are all going to be the same type of environment with the gray stone and uh, rats and dogs as enemies. But as you go up, oh, I shouldn't have used that there, I can make that jump without that. But as you go up the tower, you'll encounter new enemies, new areas, and new hazards. Uh, this is not an easy game. Yeah, I'll go for it. All right, oh, make sure I don't hit the rat. I'll take care of him with that. Now you can see the usefulness of the explosive potions there. But you can also use them to destroy parts of the level, which can come in handy. Ah. I accidentally wasted that. Okay, swing over here. Now your best bet if you want to make it far in this game is to conserve your items. Oh, I'm having a little trouble making that jump for some reason. There we go because you never know when you're going to need them. Now these uh, blast berries, they act exactly like the explosive potions, and unlike the purple berries, you can pick them up and keep them in your inventory. All right, gonna keep going up here. Ah, now that large purple one, uh, it won't be much help now. It temporarily increases your climbing speed and I think your running speed. Oh. Ah. Missed him. But now we can't get up here. Okay, so do we need anything? Grab an explosive potion just to be safe. Alright. On to floor number three. Okay, and this is another one of the... Uh, Actually, I'll grab this berry first. One of the more interesting variations, these uh, fungus pods, or I'm not, I'm not sure what they're supposed to be, but uh, I do know that you don't want to pop them because they are filled with 
bees. So let that be a warning to you. All right, swing over, grab this. These levels are usually a nice welcome break from the others. Not very hard. All right, after this, I'm on to the second area, which is the hatchery. Something exploded up there. Ah, uh, looks like there's no way to get through this. I'll use a jump potion. All right. As you can see, this area is a bit more challenging. Swing up there. Something I've noticed is that even though the levels are procedurally designed, they're always very well designed. Okay, I'll go this way instead. Hmm. I'm tempted to use the teleportation potion, but I don't need to, so I'll go over, wait for this guy. Okay, that was a mistake. I could not, in fact, make that jump. I am really lucky to have survived that. Go up here. Ah, and here's something interesting. The door with the skull on it. As you can hear, the music changes when you get close to it, and there's a sort of lighting effect here. And what this door is, this door is a shortcut. But these shortcuts are usually many times more difficult than the regular levels. But I'm tempted to do it. All right, let's 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 go for it. All right. Let's see what we get. Oh. Yeah, okay. So I'm not going to be able to survive this one. Uh, I've been through this shortcut before, and I've never been successful. But... You guys are going to get to watch me fail, so I guess that's something. Alright, come on, shut up. Sometimes actually there's a golden berry hanging up in the roof here. Oh, no time. Okay. So let's give this a shot. Starts off pretty easy. Ah, dude. Didn't mean to use that there. Okay, so we made it through the first round. I think there are... I'm not sure how many rounds there are, but too many is probably the answer. Climbing is... ooh. Whew, barely made that one, and there's an enemy there. I'm gonna actually do this, guys. Whew, okay. Ah, okay. We're still good. Hey, got it. Had to use the travel teleportation potion, though. Okay, wow, I have never been successful there. Um, I don't know what's happening now. There's a door and chests. Okay. Well, that's a first for me. Uh, I don't know what that is. I'll, okay. Didn't mean to waste that. Well, that is a seed. How do I? Unfortunately, my inventory is full and I picked this up and I... Ah. Okay, I don't think there's a way to drop these things. Okay, so that's a boomerang. Um, let me try to remember how to cycle through my inventory here. All right. Now I can pick one of these up. That was sort of uh, my mistake in wasting those two items, that seed and that glowy ore, but I've never really found use for those anyway, so... Let's go on to the next area, shall we? Up next is the conservatory. Uh-oh. Okay. 
So we are going to hurry through this. I've used up a lot of my items. Come on, come on, come on. Ah! Okay, I lost it there in the end. Probably a little over ambitious with my climbing around those seeds. But I made it pretty far for my first play in a while. Made it uh, 802 feet. My name was Fendrel. And I was fiercely killed by a seed. And here comes the uh, ominous game over screen. Actually, in an early version, uh, you couldn't skip this game over screen, and it was probably a bit more punishing than Davioware intended. And uh, now that I've died, I can show you guys a neat little feature, which is the log, which records every single one of your deaths. Here's actually one where I got quite a bit farther to uh, 1,168 feet. Where is that most recent one? Ah, right here. Here's Fendral, 802 feet, poisoned by seed. And here are some other deaths, like that one. By beetles, I fell to my death there. Fell to my death there. Eaten by huge something? Huge worm, I think. That's one of the uh, challenges that comes at you. Uh, dismembered. Death by Lava, that's a classic. Impaled. So as you can see, there are lots of ways to die in this game. Uh, I think that's it for this episode. Uh, maybe I'll come back to Tower Climb to try to make it a little farther. I know there are at least two more environments past the conservatory, but I've only been to the one directly after it, which is uh, sort of fire themed. I believe there's an ice themed level after that. Not entirely sure, but as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, this game is in paid beta. I believe it's only $5, but it might be $5 Canadian, which is very close to the US dollar currently. Not sure on that, but in, in any case, it is very cheap and I highly recommend it. Uh, if you do give it a go, I'd recommend try to play it with a controller. I'm playing it with my Sega Saturn controller that I've hooked up to USB. But uh, yeah, I think that's it for this week. So this is Jerothor signing off. See you next time.